So rate cell mass measurement is an old examination that is not so difficult for the patients. It's a blood test, in fact, that is less and less frequently done because the expertise for doing this uh, test is uh, getting lost little by little. And uh, the principle is to really quantify exactly the proportion, the number of red cells that are circulating in the body. And this allows to confirm that indeed there's a true polycythemia, a true erythrocytosis when this measured red cell mass is above 25% of the expected value that is available according to the sex and weight of uh, each individual patient. So in fact, we maybe don't need this examination as first test for diagnosing uh, patients with high hemoglobin or hematocrit because now nowadays we do a JAK2 mutation search and the serum MIPO level, and if the patient is JAK2 positive, then the, the algorithm is quite easy to follow. But I think there's still a place for this test in patients who are JAK2 negative with high hemoglobin levels, just to make sure that this is a true because sometimes you find an hemoconcentration, for example, where your patient has normal quantity of uh, red cells in the body, but a diminution in his plasma volume. And then you don't have to pursue diagnosis of polycythemia in such patients. You just find to have to find the reason for which the uh, plasma volume is reduced can be because the patient takes drugs like diure diuretics, etc. But it's a completely different context. Another maybe useful uh, situation is for patients with splanchnic vein thrombosis, because in those patients, usually the blood counts are artificially low due to the portal hypertension, and you don't see an increased hemoglobin and hematocrit. But when you do the red cell mass in these patients, you may diagnose, in fact, polycythemia vera that is not apparent if you look only at the uh, peripheral blood count. And this can help you also to decide the treatment in such patients should we do phlebotomy to normalize this red cell mass, although the hemoglobin or hematocrit level is still in the normal range.